Our epic trip began with a three and a half hour journey from Bankstown in Sydney, travelling south to the village of Mogo, which is about 10 kilometres south of Batemans Bay. At Mogo, we spent the night at this awesome place called the original Gold Rush Colony, where we had pre-arranged to have the car park whilst we were out on our hiking trip. This place would be our final destination of the hiking trip, where we would take a shower before heading back to Sydney. After a refreshing breakfast the next morning, we took a taxi from Mogo through Batemans Bay and then on the Kings Highway all the way to our drop-off spot 50 kilometers northwest of Mogo and at the start of the Monga National Park. And from here we begin our 50 kilometer trek through the lush rainforest of Monga National Park, after which we ascend to over 800 meters through the mountain ranges of the Buckingbower State Forest. After travelling for around 8 kilometres through this mountain range, we descend down to the Buckingbower River and from there trek through the valley following the river for much of the way. For the final leg of the trek, we make our way through the hills of Mogo State Forest until we reach our final destination, the village of Mogo. Five kilometers into our hiking trip, around, maybe about four and a half. Um, we've been trekking now for just over an hour. It's it's quite warm, but we're in the shade most of the way. Um, the start of a 50 kilometer hike. Um, everyone's in high spirits. We just, we have to stop every now and then for the bags just to dust them but uh, it's it's all looking good so far so good oh you're taking it as well well i think they've put down all these rocks because of soil erosion wow it just adds to the dimension of the height. It's up, how are you doing? Hey. How are you doing? Hi. The rock path. Oh, are you taking? <laughs> oh, you're taking? <laughs> Video. The rocky path. Now with that store, we okay. So we've done it. We've done it. About eight k's. We're here at the Mongalo River. Picnic area. See there, it's cover the richest that is manga. Um, well deserved rest. Honestly, we've we've been literally we've been knacking it. I'd say we've been we've been going really fast. So I I worked out that we're doing an average of around four k's per hour, uh, which is exactly more or less exactly what I calculated for. Um, yeah, there's obviously. People here that's been for walks and that. There's a barbecue. There's a toilet around here. But we're going to stop here for at least um, around an hour or so and replenish. Maybe have some lunch. <laughs> this is day one. We've been walking for about 20 uh, 20 k's. We haven't been walking 20 k's. We're running out of resources. If you find this message. Yeah. God knows, That's maybe you won't be able to find there. us. We've been hunted down. But for now, <laughs> say hello to the boys. Maddie! Right. Boys, 
Shaq you. Uh, 3.1 <laughs> kilometers. 3.1 kilometers uh, till the next yeah. intersection. Over there we have a brief rest. And when I mean brief, I mean like... All right, more than so now everyone's packed up. We had a nice meal. Uh, we had a little bit more than a meal. Uh, we ate bloody hell. <laughs> we, we did it. <laughs> we ate a lot of food. There was a lot of bartering going on. Like a pack of noodles for a pack of raisins. And, uh, but now, yeah, we're leaving this Mongalo uh, picnic area. And we're making our way southerly. We're making our way in a southerly direction. Uh, hoping to hit the Buck and Barrow River crossing uh, where we hope to set up camp. So, always important to fill up your water when you're at a creek like this. The water is ice cold, it's coming off the mountains. It's pretty cold. It's a, it's a last weekend for snow as well. So we're going to fill up the waters and then we got, we have the water tablets with us, which we'll make use of. There's a snipping open now. Um, and uh, we're going to add them into our bottles and bladders. just climbed up right to the top and this is our way forward it's weird it is a trail it's supposed to be a fire trail I can't for the life of me see how a vehicle can come up here and go up here and down wherever we are heading to oh uh, yeah and Evo can do it serious and then I think Matt's found a smarter way yeah, I mean, what the hell? Okay, boys, let's go, man. Enough selfies. In fact, I haven't taken a selfie the whole day. Take on a downhill while hiking. <laughs> Go, bro. the morning of day two <coughs> time now is six o'clock uh, planning to leave in about an hour and a half guys slept in their tents I slept on the floor next to the fire I uh, had an awesome night slept quite well must have had at least uh, eight hours of sleep um, it's really hot though. Last night was warm. This morning is warm as well. As you can see, we're all just wearing short sleeves and everything like that. Um, yeah, so today looks like it's going to be a scorcher. We're on top of this mountain. Uh, we need to get off it. So we have another about three k's left until we reach the bottom of the mountain where the river is and then hopefully from there it should be all good. Yesterday we had it tough. Um, big hills, big mountains, sliding down, climbing up. It was all happening. We need to get in about 20 or 25 k's. Um, and yeah, and we camp up. Guys, so this is my breakfast for today. What I've got um, got this muesli, toasted muesli, comes really handy little uh, container, all you have to do is add water and they have everything else in it. Then I've made myself a uh, coffee, Makona coffee, um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to have, in addition, I've got 
Lebanese bird over here and I've got uh, an assortment of honey, peanut butter and jam which I'm going to spread on the bread. I also have the um, uh, pecan cheese which I can spread on, on the bread as well. That there will be my breakfast for today. We've just boiled up some water, put the water in. No way, first bird. Okay, so here we are. All of us, we've had our breakfast, washed up, all packed up, just um, getting ready now to head off. My bag is packed, as you can see. I have the 22 on the top rifle. It's for later on for hunting. We're in State Forest. And uh, we picked up all of our rubbish. Uh, leaving the area relatively clean and now we're gonna head off the time now is quarter to eight we have a long day ahead of us that sun is up um, but we need to do some kilometers today oh. all right so we reached the Buckenbarra River and it is beautiful it's absolutely beautiful I wouldn't actually mind the swimming here at all um, the guys are knackered. We've done three kilometers, but but it wasn't an easy three kilometers. It was uh, mostly downhill, but hard going, and a uh, bit of uphill as well. I think the boys deserve a good rest, yeah? What you reckon? 20 minutes? Or half an hour? All right, so this is a straw which I bought, live straw. Um, I'm gonna try it out here in this. The water looks, uh, to be honest, looks really, really clean. Um, but you have to be careful when you're hiking, especially us, we're out here hiking. Um, last thing you want is to have any, um, any type of, uh, stomach bug or anything like that. So I'm going to try it from around here. Now you have to prep it somehow. Prime it, that's what they say. The fog really close by. Ah, oh, here we go. Can you see? One of the type of fog is. There was a larger one somewhere around here as well. Okay. Try it. Okay, I had some water. Let's hope I don't get any bugs or anything. But yeah, that's that straw really, really handy. Now, as I say, we have the tablets as well, so we've all filled up tablets in our packs and that. But if you want to drink direct the tablets, you have to wait half an hour for it to work. This one over here, you could drink from it uh, directly. Life straw. I think I picked it up for 29 bucks at Anaconda or something like that, but you can get them anyway. Get them even online, live store. Okay guys, so this is what's happened so far. Uh, today we've only managed to travel, I think we've done around, how many Ks did, it, did I say? About six, six Ks, six, six and a half Ks. My thighs, my hamstrings seized up at one point. I had to sit down, um, but it wasn't far from the river. You can see over there, the river's down there. Um, so we stopped and, and God sent that there was a guy here with his ute. Um, and um, basically what's happened is that we've come to a dead end. Like uh, on the map, it shows a, a road um, so on the map it shows a road, but uh, the day is no road. We've looked around and guys told us it was an old road, but um, it's the most 
probably hasn't been haven't been used for years and years so we're basically hit a dead end so what's happened what we've decided on is that the good uh, fella from Mogo he's gonna drop us off uh, at a point down the way and uh, we'll carry on on our adventure on our hiking trip from from over there that will help us a lot um, so yeah we just stopped now we're gonna have some lunch we're gonna chill out a bit and uh, we're gonna carry on along our way all right guys we have a situation over here Remove our tick. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah this guy has a tick in his head Actually, a nice big, and it's. Can you hold that? Can someone hold that? No, you guys hold the And it's starting to burrow in. Let's see if you can see over there. Look at that. It's massive, this tick. Where did you have it? Can you see it, Achi? Yeah. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna pull him out. He doesn't want to even freaking let go. I might pull some hair with it. It doesn't matter, pull the hair, take the thing out. Take it up. Right Look at that. Oh. Yeah, sorry man. It doesn't matter, pull, pull whatever you need to pull. It's not coming out, man. It'll come out. It will. Burn it. <laughs> Broken his body. Are you serious? Yep, he's set. Uh... Boys, I'm using the bathroom, yeah? Yep. Okay, he's out. Look at that. Look at that. What the F is that? It's a freaking tick and it's a massive one. <sighs> is he alive? Can I kill him? Can I burn him? He's dead now. I ripped half his body out. But look at that. Look how evil he is, man. That eats into your skin. Show me, show me. Hey, this is, we're waking up now on day three. Um, just woke up. There's about 10, 15 minutes left for sunrise. We're gonna pray. The plan is to pray, eat breakfast, pack up and head off. We have a grueling 20 kilometers ahead of us for the town of Mogo. Um, let's see how, how many kilometers we can actually make. So, there's warm wind coming from this way. Yeah. And there's, wind there's, that, from there's actually hot wind. Even last night, uh, I stripped down actually to my undies. That's how hot it was last night. It was windy, but there was hot, hot air. There's actually hot air coming in from one area and cold in coming, uh, cold air coming in from another area. But yeah, beautiful morning. Our camping spot was excellent. We had water. We just had a few dramas in the night with, with the fire being too large. We put the fire out. Um, he he had a tick on his head, me mate. Um. How's your head, by the way? <laughs> it's left its mark. <laughs> it's good. Uh, yeah. That's it. But now we are on the home stretch. <laughs> it's not even 5:30, and I'm already hot. <laughs> You're hot. I'm cold. It's hot. It's warm. Yeah. Anyway, let's see how we go today. Let's play. Let's play.
refreshing, man. Straight from this fucking Barra River. Okay, so we're coming to the end of our journey, and the end of our journey comes at the back of a. What is this? Is it a Hilux? A Toyota Hilux. What else? Which other car would you want your journey to end on other than a Toyota Hilux? Uh, yeah, so we've got help the last few kilometers. We are behind schedule, so for all that, around the lights, four, five. Yep, hold on. For the last four or five kilometers, um, we've got help and we're driving back into the town. Mozart. This is it, we're back at the Gold Rush Colony. <laughs> oh, We've made it 46 oh, kilometers. <laughs> We've walked all in all. I myself grabbed the ginger beer. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Oh, wait, there's dust. Hi. And so happy. We're going straight up there. Up there is the showers. That's what we're going for. So we're having a drink and straight in those showers. And then we're heading off to Batemans Bay for hopefully, trusting Eunice on this one, a Cosmos kebab, whatever that is. Oh. <laughs>